You see, there is something about Olori Naomi that all of us like. If you like Olori Naomi, then you would not deny this singular fact that there is there is a lot about this woman that all of us, as we gather day, as our online in-laws, we like that particular thing about Naomi. And that singular thing we like about Naomi is the fact that Naomi is outspoken. Naomi would would never would never sit behind and watch naomi is just one person who as soon as it is happening she is addressing it she doesn't want all those moments where they will say and they said they said this one said and that one said naomi doesn't want it she doesn't want it at all so right now no the matter where they happen like so naomi don't vex Naomi, I've been hearing so much about Toby twins, Toby this, Toby that, DNA, this, that, that. So instead of that very single thing that she expects people to do that everybody is not doing, Naomi, I've decided to do it herself. She has decided to do it herself. And if you would agree with me, oh, she has done the right thing. She has brought CID into the palace to to you know look into this toby's case and settle it once and for all if they are saying that the children are not for toby then let them determine that the children are truly not for her instead of you know all of these and uh, bluffing uh backbiting and every single thing everybody is doing because everybody seems to find it more convenient talking behind another person nobody is finding it convenient to come out and say it straightforward because um ronke found her evidence miriam has her own proof now the only has his own the only has a surrogate mother uh, miriam has the fact that toby literally bought her children she did not give birth to them and then from there you will see that um, ronke has a proof of dna not matching with all of these things put together let's confront it let's come out at it that is what naomi wants and right now naomi is with people medical personnel in the palace in the palace she, like she she wants this thing settled once and for all she wants it tackled and we love her for that singular fact stop the hearsay stop moving around to talk about people behind them stop going up and down to say then this that that and now no hmm we don't know what will be of Toby after this. Uh, because it seems like at the end of the day, this is the last proof the only is looking for. This is the last of it that he would need to nail Toby Phillips. And if this comes out to be exactly the way everybody has perceived, everybody has said, and everybody has felt over time, then this is the end of the almighty Toby Phillips. The one who made a powerful return into the palace and we felt she was coming back to rest. We felt Toby was coming back to, you know, come on, settle down because a lot happened in toby's life over a very short period of time but i bet she saw it toby leaving the palace in the twinkle of an eye toby then all of a sudden becoming uh um entangled with another man asking only for blessings from there toby was like ah is a palace she still wants or she wants to come back into the palace for many it was a lot happening in toby's life but i bet toby saw any of these things as something that was happening in her life she did not see it gradually 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 toby has met her end right with her own hands she has seen how faking of pregnancy has always failed these women in the palace pregnancy is something that happens naturally it's something that happens naturally and at the end of it you will discover that they cannot be naturally in it cannot be artificially induced yes there are factors there are systems there are things that are in place making us have these things artificially but how can you fake pregnancy ronke failed first to tell this woman ronke failed first to tell this woman that you don't get anything where you go do about this thing called pregnancy. If you are not, you are not. There is nothing you can say about it. But it was more like a joke to them because all of them felt, eh, we can manipulate things. Okay, maybe we can do it for a while and keep things running in our favor. Then over time, we'll now tell people this. Ronke tried it. It did not work for her. And not working for herself made her lose total respect for herself. And every single thing everybody hold, held for her ever in the palace she lost it ronke lost it completely she lost it water water like this and it is so so bad it is so so bad so my people i have 
I am certain that with every single thing happening now, Toby would strongly learn her lesson. But well, let's wait and see. Let's wait and see if she truly learns the lesson. That's if she does. But if she doesn't, life moves on. Life moves on. At the end, you will hear that Toby is somewhere doing so fine. She's here. She's great. She's this, she's that. It is absolutely okay but one of the things toby have failed to understand is that failing as a king's wife is the worst disappointment she can ever get in her life because all of them expected um naomi to fail all of them expected her to be on the blog post on the news that are ah, these prophetess that could not stay in her marriage this that that so they kept on pushing they kept on trying they kept on doing every single thing to make sure that she doesn't make it to wheresoever they felt she was going with her marriage they kept on trying every single thing but naomi is big naomi is one big person naomi is that very person that you should not come dragging her naomi is that singular person that no matter what happens you see although in naomi she day she day her day so make you try day your day make naomi day her day hmm how i wish people can understand this thing how i really really wish people can understand this singular fact my people as it stands right now no now so the matter take b people where they fight naomi now them they are end just they gradually come meet them for their doorstep because right now toby phillips have met her end and she has met it in such a bad way in such a bad bad way that that it cannot, in fact, one cannot even overemphasize the, the, the bad way Toby have met her end. Yes, it is so bad. But at the end of the day, you would agree with me. You would agree with me that Toby brought every single thing upon herself. Yes, she brought every single thing upon herself. Patience is a virtue. That is what they tell us. Patience is a virtue. And when you don't have it, if you are not patient enough, you keep losing. You keep losing. And in the midst of your losing, you would jam a lot of things. You would jam a lot of things. Lots and lots of them. And this is what's happening to Toby now. We don't know what will happen next. We don't know what will come next. We don't know what will be her next move. But certainly we'll wait and see what will be her next turn all of a sudden from all that has happened before her. Because I can remember she's, she's, she's very, very strategic. She's very, very good at what she does. In fact, she, she, she's, she's extremely... She, she's just one amazing person that... <laughs> she's just one amazing person that no matter what happens, Toby is just Toby. Yes, Toby's just Toby. She's there. She, she's fighting. She's trying to be strong. But this time around, there's too much for her. There's too much for Toby Phillips. But we pray, we hope, and we wait and see. We will wait and see what will be of her after all of these things.